Chargers. Finally, John Spanos. We've heard from this guy. What, what did he have to say? He ended a three-year media boycott. He's, he's refused to talk to the media like he's something special. Please, really? his first family of football and all that <laughs> crap. All that. John Spano spent an hour talking to the L.A. media, talked a lot, said nothing. He made all these generic comments. We're going to reevaluate our hierarchy. Oh, yeah? You're going to hold somebody named Spanos accountable for what the hell's <laughs> happened to this franchise? He says, we have the money to hire a marquee coach. Oh, yeah? Uh, how come each of the last three coaches you've paid have been at the bottom of the coaching pay scale in football? Um, this is another one of his famous quotes. I firmly believe that through adversity, you can become good. I haven't seen that yet. A lot of, a lot of bad adversity around Charger football, blown games, et cetera, et cetera. It just goes on and on and on. Nobody asked him the real question. The real question, if I were sitting there, John Spanos, you're director of football operations. You are in charge of everything, hires, acquisitions, the draft, the coaching staffs. You just fired your general manager. You fired your coach, but you're the president of football operations. John, how come you still have your job? That's the question I would pose. Because if you're at the top of the hierarchy, and everything below you has failed because of the decisions you've made. John, is there an answer? Yeah. yeah. I, that, that's the question he doesn't want to hear. That's probably why he was hiding from the cameras for three years. Exactly. Um, and, you know, how many professional sports teams where their president or president of operations doesn't talk to the media? That's usually a signal that there's problems, that, they're, that they don't want to face the scrutiny, and that they don't have a like an open relationship with their fans and with their local beat writers. So every signal coming from the Chargers is negative. And I, they, well, he says he's money's no object to hire a new coach. Yeah, money's going to be an object. Money is an object next year as it relates to the salary cap. The national media is writing the exact same thing I've said. You can't have this many players making over thirty million per year against ne next year's cap, even though the cap is supposedly going to rocket to like two hundred forty million. But they've they've got a lot of guys earning north of thirty million. Some of those guys are probably going to disappear, and I don't know whether that's the injury prone Joey Bosa or whether it's the the bad breaks that all Mike Williams has had. Or maybe they're going to just restructure down contracts. But if you restructure down the contracts to keep everybody, you're pushing that restructured money into the following year. You're still credit card bill. Yeah. You still have to pay it, if not in 24, in 25. So, and I think the, the most galling part is, aside from what the first family of football did to San Diego's 55 years of loyalty, the other galling part about Charger football is they've gone 89 and 95 with him as president <laughs> of football ops with Philip Rivers, and Justin Herbert as your starting quarterback. Unbelievable. It's not like Three Mile Island where nobody's left and there's nobody there. Yeah. He had two superstar quarterbacks, one that's a proven commodity, the other's proving himself to be the commodity, and they're 89 and 95 under his leadership. So I ask you the question, John, how come you still have your job? The answer probably be is, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. I'm sorry. If you want to throw a 15-yard penalty for me targeting him, yeah, I'll take the 15 yards. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, like you say, there's the, the, the salary cap problems, but I don't, I'm don't. i questioning how much they're going to pay a head coach. Mm -hmm. You know, because if Harbaugh came rolling in, I mean, he's going to be expecting, what, $10 million a year at least. Exactly. When he gets exiled from Michigan, by the way, which is now firmly under NCAA investigation for two major violations, mm -hmm. just notice of allegations came to Ann Arbor yesterday. Mm -hmm. So Harbaugh might be exiting, but is he coming for 4 million? No, no way. No. And is he coming if I got to work with that guy? <laughs> because I guarantee you, whether it is Belichick or Harbaugh, they're going to want player personnel power. Right. And the power has always gone through. Thanks dad's office. Yeah. No, that, that's a recipe for disaster. Right okay. Now. So if you stand too close to me, you will get radioactive poisoning <laughs> when they throw the yellow flag at me for targeting the Chargers organization. Okay. Here's a question. Fans forum chat box is open. You're a Padre fan. You're a Dodger fan. You're an angel fan. Join us like, or dislike the Chargers. We want to hear from you because when we're done debating here, you're going to join us at the table 
Fans Forum is coming up.